why do we cry for Ahlul Bayt Some find it strange how we cry and become emotional when we hear the heart-rendering tragedies of Imam Hussein and the Ahlul Bayt But crying is a natural reaction to grief and sadness. In fact, we are told in the Holy Quran that Prophet Yaqub also known as Jacob, cried until he became blind because his son Yusuf, also known as Joseph السلام, was taken away from him. If it was the case that crying so much was a bad thing, Allah would surely have reprimanded Prophet Yaqub السلام, for inflicting this upon himself. It is reported that the Holy Prophet peace be upon him and his family himself cried when Jibra'il السلام, informed him that his grandson would be killed and he told his daughter Lady Fatima al Zahra alayhi salam, O Fatima, every eye shall be weeping on the day of judgment, except the eye which has shed tears over the tragedy of Hussein alayhi salam. For surely that eye shall be laughing and shall be given the glad tidings of the bounties and comforts of paradise. The survivors of Karbala, in particular Imam Zain al Abidin alayhi salam and Lady Zainab alayhi salam, wept for the rest of their lives due to the horrors they were made to endure. When he was asked what the believer would benefit from crying for his father, the Imam replied, Every believer whose eyes shed tears upon the killing of my father and his companions, such that the tears roll down his cheeks, Allah shall accommodate them in the elevated rooms of paradise. But crying is not just reserved for the tragedy of Imam Hussein Even though it is the greatest of calamities, we are encouraged to weep for each of the 14 infallibles alayhim salam and their oppressed companions. For instance, in the ziyarat of Imam al-Rida alayhi salam, we say, Peace be upon the one who asked his family to mourn him even before death reached him. The line comes directly from a hadith where Imam al-Rida alayhi salam said, When I received the order to be extradited from Medina, I gathered my family and asked them to mourn me. Furthermore, Imam al-Sadiq said, Imam al-Baqir asked me to gift a certain amount of money from his wealth to a group of women who would mourn him in Mina during the days of Mina for a period of 10 years. So you see, crying is seen as one of the best forms of mourning and is an act most recommended to us by all the Imams of Ahlul Bayt because not only is it a mark of respect, but it also it benefits us spiritually. Imam al-Baqir once said, whoever remembers us, and as a result tears flow from their eyes, even if the tear may be the measure of the wing of a mosquito, Allah will construct for them a house in paradise and make the tears a barrier between that person and the fires of hell. The Ahlul Bayt السلام, stressed upon crying so much, they even encouraged their followers to pretend to weep if they were unable to. Some people may have an eye condition which may prevent them from shedding tears, or they may try to cry and be unable to. But Allah in His mercy has made the reward of a person who feigns weeping for the Ahlul Bayt, the same as the one whose tears flow. This is shown through a hadith where the Holy Prophet peace be upon him and his family recited some verses of the Quran and the companions began to cry, all except one young man. The man confessed to the Prophet, I did not shed any tears, but I imitated the act of weeping. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, responded, Whoever feigns weeping shall enter paradise. Furthermore, from an extract from a lengthy narration, Imam al-Sadiq said, And whoever composes a eulogy from Imam Hussain and feigns weeping, then surely they have obtained paradise. May Allah make us amongst those who shed tears for his beloved ones. And may he build for us all homes near him in paradise, inshaAllah.